Well, hello and welcome to In the Pot with Livy and Chrissy, the foodie show that are delectable, delicious and delight. I'm Livy. And I'm Chrissy, and we heartily invite you to come simmer with us for the next half an hour. Now, we love a man who cooks, and I know we say this every week, but we do. Because you know what? Chrissy can't cook, and I love to watch people cook and then feed me. But Josh Eggleton today is going to have the task of inspiring us to cook, and hopefully you. Because each week we get the very best chefs in to teach us how to be a great chef. So. Yeah, ever hopeful. But you can tweet us through the show at hashtag in the pot. We'd love to hear your foodie stories, your disasters, your brilliance. <laughs> your brilliance. <laughs> we need brilliance, definitely. We're here at the Devil Day Kitchen Academy in Clifton now. What is our dishy chef? The wonderful Michelin star Josh Eggleton, who is the busiest man in chefing, uh, got in store for us today. Well, I've heard it's pasta, but you know, probably not just any old pasta and cake. Now, look, this is my kind of meal: pasta and cake. Hi, Josh. Lovely Morning. to see How you. you. Really well. You're How well. are you? Hello. Mm -hmm. I love a, I love a kiss. So. What are we starting with today? Today we're starting with dessert. We're going to make a sticky, sticky toffee ale cake with walnuts. So um, it's it's like a sticky toffee pudding, but we've also taken lots of gingerbread elements and put it in there. And we put fill it up with some beer instead of water. There's a little bit of water generally with sticky toffee. You boil dates and water. So okay. We replace most of that with with some lovely beer here. Oh, lovely. So from Bristol. Yeah. Bristol Beer Factory. Yeah, Bristol Ooh. Milk Stout. So this is a really old traditional recipe that's been revitalised. Don't, don't drink it. Don't drink it. I wasn't drinking it. I was just smelling it. Actually, swig. no, 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 no. Don't do that. Right. So tell me. So what we're going to? Um, shall I start? Yeah, please. What we're going to do? Is You're the boss. You're the chef. So let me get my cooker. Right. There we go. So it's a highly technical cooker, isn't it? Induction. Yeah, the great induction. So we have our dates here. Where are they dates. from? They probably from Morocco or south of France or something like that, um, but they're not. But they're not British grown. Okay. Grown I'd love um, a date. I'm going on a date tonight, actually. <laughs> yeah, it reminded me of that. Anyway, moving on. Dates. dates. So a little bit of water in with the water like that. Induction is very good, and in with the beer as well. There we go. In with the beer. In with the beer. Or the like milk her. stout. The milk stout. So we're just going right. to move that out of the way. Why is it the milk stout? What does that mean? It's quite similar to Guinness. Yes. But it's quite quite a heavy, um, heavy product, and it's just a, you know a sort of recipe that was lost over the years and it's been revitalised. And then we've got the um, treacle as well. Oh, okay. Now this is an element from uh, gingerbread or right. a, a parkin, as they call it up north. Parkin. Yeah. Yeah, so so it's all take... sticky and dark yeah. and delicious and so treacly. Get that in there mm. as well. Give that a stir. Because this is something you make in your restaurant, isn't yeah, it? In Chew Magna. The... Yeah, is that this right? is from the pony. So we kind of used to have more of a pony traditional. Trap. Yeah, we just call it the pony. The pony so, trap in Chew Magna. There we go. So need that to boil. I'm going to turn that down now. So this is one of your recipes that you do? Yeah, so before we had uh, just a normal, traditional sticky toffee pudding with a salted caramel ice cream, but that's, we've kind of upgraded that. So the tr traditional one is, is kind of leaving. It's, got, it's gone to a new place. We're opening it's moving close. home. Yeah, it's, it's moving mo home. Moving home. So, because um, we're, uh, we're taking over a place on True Valley Lake, which we're doing up right oh. now. So that's going there. So I want to make sure there's disparity between what's okay. going on. Um, so really easy, this cake. Instead of putting it in a KitchenAid, we're going to get it all, all the other ingredients, the dry ingredients, most mm. of them, flour, soft dark brown sugar, which I just put in. I love this, we're not doing yeah, anything. I'm whisking, I mean... Oh. No, this is really yeah. simple. Now, the reason for blending it is the fact that we've got so much liquid that if you were to whip the butter and the sugar traditional way, you just pour the liquid in and you lose all that work you've done, so there's okay. no point whatsoever. So ah, ginger, mixed spice, okay. and ginger, ground ginger. That all goes in. That all goes in. Three eggs. And we're going to blend this into a paste. Can I do an egg? You want to? Yeah. Oh, I'll give it a go. Do I an, egg. an egg. Egg for yeah. you. Yeah. Oh. Which is no good. We've got to clean, have some Everything. clean to this. Everything in there. Like that? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And then. Me, me. That's it. Oh. Lovely. So now we're going to blend this. <laughs> Top of the blender. Blend this to a paste. Okay, so all dry ingredients in there, and we're just going to pulse that and bring that together into a paste, just quickly. So, 
and the eggs are going to bring that down. It's nice and dark. There we are. And that's it. So that's open there. I'm just going to just push that down because there's quite a big clump there, like that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get our date and our beer that have been boiled Ooh, up. Looks yummy. And that all goes in slowly. Watch out for the splashes. Stepping back. Stepping there we back. Go. Like that. And then, this is when you add your bicarb, so it just fizzes up in, Ooh, all, that, yes. in all that warm water to just to ensure that it activates, you know, so you, get, so you get your eyes. Okay, activate. so we're going to have to blend again now. So hopefully now, the blend is big enough and we're not going to, it's not going to shoot everywhere. That's better, it's fine. Great. All the way around. This is the easiest cake in the world. Really? Easy. That's it. I like a man who can oh. work a machine. Oh. It's great. <laughs> Like a man, that's yeah. <laughs> so, off of that, do you want to put it in? No, no, feel free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, Chrissy, <laughs> she's up for cooking. I it thought, oh, splashes. Yeah, you can get it off. You can get it there we go. Oh, well, right, yeah. straight into the tin. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Watching? I'm watching. Are you watching? I'm watching. You like watching, don't you? That's I your like thing. watching. That's your thing, isn't Ooh, it? it? Watching. I like watching oh. and being fed. Oh, no, getting anxious. Just moving on, go. Do you notice you do a little dance? Do a little dance. This is my and then, cake dance. The last thing for the cake is the walnuts. Yeah. And we just put the chopped walnuts in the top. And they yeah. don't go in the blender because obviously they just blend it into a paste as well. So, like that. Okay. Simple. That's very simple, Chris. Well done, Chrissy. We I'm so impressed with her. She just made mix. that. Oh, so oh, clever. Oh, so clever. Do you not mm. think that was impressive? She yeah, just did it. <laughs> so, in the oven at 150. 40 minutes. 150, really 40 minutes. Great. So tell me what are you doing in Bristol? Oh, we're on something else. Quickly. Before, what, what, then I want to hear all the gossip. Spice Scotch sauce, equal quantities of butter, soft dark brown sugar, and cream. And we oh, finish cream. And finish it with salt. That's <gasps> it. So we'll get that in there. I love cream. We're just going to. We're just going to bring that up. Wow, you talk about what, yeah, what's going on in Bristol. So yeah, yeah. Um, we last saw you eat during Bristol Fashion. Yeah, so it was the annual food festival that we do. But um, why? Where's all the clothes? No, that's clothes. what I wanted to know. Yes. Fashion. Fashion is um, it's a play on words. So it's our um, ship shape Bristol Fashion. So okay. eating and drinking in Bristol style. That's the way okay. we see. Uh -huh. In what wonderful is... teepees, aren't they? Yeah, in teepees. Uh, about 14 of them, giant teepee structures. Um, so, you know, something for everyone there. You can have a casual dining, cocktail, or you can have some fine dining. So it's very, you know, it's very mm. open for, to, mm. for anybody. Or a coffee or a slice of cake. Yes. Simple. Oh, and every oh, year. Oh, I'm sorry. Do no, feel free to speak. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> or just something for everything. Or just sim simply some live music, you know? Let's yeah. Just turn that up a touch more. And also, you're opening the new restaurant in Chew yeah. Magna on the lake. Do you get views of the lake? Yeah, Can you sit sits, there and it look? It sits right on the lake. So it's an old tea room. Mm. Um, it's been a tea room for, for 25 years. And we're turning it, we're keeping it as a tea room. And then at night, we're turning it into a little fish cafe. And we're going to have a separate wow. fish and chip shop takeaway as well. And we're calling it um, salt and malt. So it's like salt and vinegar. That yeah. is going to be fantastic. That is such in with a the beautiful, cream. beautiful spot. And yesterday? Yeah, it's lovely. Isn't it's it's it? really stunning. Yesterday, you were doing Sunday brunch. Yeah, yesterday I was doing the same sticky L cake on Sunday brunch. It was, that was good, it was good fun for all the guys there. A bit, a bit, a bit fussy in here. So we move from London <laughs> to Bristol, you're living yeah. the life. Well, you're always I'm, I'm busy. Living a busy life, you're yeah. living a very busy living, life. Yeah. I mean, what plans have you got? I mean, so many plans. Anything else oh, that we know about? Well, at the moment we're in the initial stages of planning Eat Drink Bristol Fashion for next year. It's uh, obviously a green capital for Bristol next yeah. year, so we're going to be linking heavily in with that. Um, so I'm you know, quite heavily involved in the Seven Project Grown Project, so I'm the director there, so I help direct that, and we're going to hopefully link that together more to promote the you know food that's grown in the city and stuff. You know, uh -huh. you know? What, what project was that again? The Seven Project, which is down Seven. by Temple Meads. They grow salad leaves, organic salad leaves. Oh wow! What right by Temple Meads? Yeah, yeah, on the old oh. diesel depot. So mm. a little bit of salt, sea salt, very important. Uh. Would you like me to give it a stir? Yep. So I'm going to take it off and I give it a whisk, and they just just okay. come in together. That. So patronising. Well done. And that's it. Well done, darling. Right. So, 
<laughs> Sorry. Butter scotch sauce <laughs> yes. is finished. Cake is in the oven. Hot? We need Ooh. to wait for the cake to be baked. Can you and taste it? Yeah, taste some. Stick your finger in. Is it hot? It's, no, hot it's hot. not that hot. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it salty enough? Oh, it's wonderful. Is so, it salty enough? Can I? Ooh, ooh, go. that is um, bliss. And that I've is also, wonderful. I've also brought with me a stout ice cream, which we're not going to make that today because it takes too long, but I've made an ice cream with this beer mm. as well, okay. which we serve with beer the Beer ice cream? Yeah, beer ice That's, cream. I love that salty. This is very popular, this salty, Well, what it is, I mean, salt, salt kind of sits opposite opposite bitterness. They, yes. they, they They create harmony together, you know? So with the bitterness and the beer and the salt, it kind mm. of all works really well. It's together. that dark sugar, isn't it, that makes yeah. it just gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, Tom would love it. I'm sorry, Tom, you're going to have to wait for this because can't film and eat at the same time. But we're going to be taking a break now and we'll be back after the break with Dishy Chef, our Michelin star, Josh Eggleton. And we're going to be cooking up a storm, doing a pasta, wonderful, amazing dish. <laughs> well, it will with Josh doing it. Yeah, definitely. Don't forget, you'll find all the recipes from today on our website. And also, keep those tweets coming in at hashtag in the pot. We want to hear your foodie disasters, your foodie fabulousness. Fabulousness. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't go away. In actual fact, we're going away because we uh, might be popping off to find some, you know, wines that go with this meal. You know. Yeah, we need to find a good wine that matches it all up. And we'll be trying it and letting you know about it. It's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. So yeah. do join us later. See that. Stay simmering. <laughs>